Mm-hmm. Mason jars on the fireplace. The detectors on a leaning against the wall to the right of the fireplace. And so it I turn it off, and then yeah. it happened again. Yeah, I was going to say it wasn't just the one time <laughs> either. <laughs> I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no." <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's a ghost, but it's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I might have an extra ring camera laying around. I should send it down. You can hook it up and see if it you catch anything because it will it will alert you when there's emotion. So whether you're sleeping, I know or, um, I have a ring camera on my front door. I might uh, I was going to get another one. So yeah, to put inside. It doesn't it doesn't hurt to you know. Um, I did. I could see... watch Mama Kitty run around the house. Yeah, that too. And I did see, um, sadly, on Facebook, another uh, detectorist got robbed. Um, someone mm. came in and stole all of his machines, all of his um, uh, what are they called? The the Riker cases full of fines. Oh my God! Thankfully, he he has a lot of them documented, and he has he wrote down his serial numbers for his machines. So. He yeah, can that I have pictures shots. of my serial numbers that I keep, but I do have ring cameras, and they do pay for the service where you could keep the recording. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I, I was like, oh, let's mention that. Make sure you get your serial numbers off your detectors. Um, a good thing mm-hmm. too, I learned. Uh, I lost my pinpointer, <laughs> and um, I was like, I should have put my name in it. My name and phone number, or something. I mean, oh, yeah. where I was, if somebody found it, they would have probably have no idea what it is. So if they opened it, I could even should have put it even a little thing that says "reward if found." <laughs> so um, yeah, all my gear is going to have that from now on, especially you know. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, it can't hurt. Yeah, as, in those pinpointers, you can put it right in the battery compartment. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like, roll uh, it around the battery. Yep. So I'm like, ah, oh, should have done that. Yeah, you live and you learn, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so horrible. People stealing from people. It is. It is. But yeah, it doesn't hurt. Between the apparitions that you might capture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for something else to happen. But it was. I was so freaked out. Right, live on. You know, video live. I was like, yep. oh, my God. Uh, I heard it, and I knew immediately what it was, too. I'm like, oh, that's 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 a detector that's going on. Yeah. Right I'm like, oh. It that's... was my Fisher. It was my Fisher. Yeah. No, no good. Crazy, crazy. It hasn't uh... done it since, so it's good now. All right. Yes. Yes. You keep saying you keep saying that it's good. <laughs> if it does it now, I'm going outside. Uh, yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> um, let us know if we're talking, <clears throat> and all of a sudden something, uh, you know, strange I'll pops off. I'll introduce you. I'll introduce yeah. you. <laughs> Tell it. I will bring some sandalwood down, and we can have a chat about how you're. <laughs> You know, um, because not only are you are you saving history, you're doing an amazing job with some of these the cleanups that you're doing on items. Um, oh, I love it! I love it. So, uh, just this weekend, I had a cleaning day, and uh, Michigan Gems, who's in the chat tonight, Michigan Gems Joe, is a magnet fisher, and another thing I do, I do that too. She found uh, heart of the home, like a stove door cover shaped like a heart, cast iron. And Mm -hmm. on it, it says heart of the home. And she pulled a couple up magnet fishing. And they're pretty, pretty big, you know. Um, Very cool, very cool. But, you know, they're rusted and not in great, great condition, but still beautiful. I love it. But she gave me one because she pulled up two and she already had one. So I took it and I did electrolysis on it this weekend and came out like new. It was beautiful. It was, you know, it took a lot of work and I used some steel wool and a little brush. But by the time it was finished, yeah, a little bit of elbow grease in there. (laughs) It was just gorgeous. I love that. 
I, I don't like to clean my coins uh, mm-hmm. too much unless mm-hmm. it's a crusty copper and I can't see any detail. Yep. Then I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit. But I like the green patina. I don't want to lose that. And uh, I like the little black on the silver. But just a little bit of clean up on them. But I do like to preserve the relics the best I can without taking away from it. Yeah. I think you do, you you know, uh, a lot of the, between the bottles too, that you're cool, you clean up all the time. And some of these, you know, the iron things, like I looked at some of the stuff you're cleaning. I'm like, oh my, <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> uh, that usually gets set aside. And then I'm like, no. On a paper plate. Yes. On a paper plate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am. That is definitely something I have lots of. Yeah, um, I do that too. I have stuff set aside and then I forget where I put things and come across things later down the line. I'm like, wow, that's cool. When did I find that? <laughs> yeah. I, one of the things I, I vowed to do and John and I are, are slowly working on it is clearing out the garage i mean we've done a great mm. job but we want one of those sandblasters they they have the mm. like smaller ones at harbor freight and uh yeah. yep so we've got our eye on one of those because of the amount of you know crazy cool iron pieces we find that would be so you know it'd be fun to try to do it that way and see how they you can out. clean out the garage and make yes. a uh uh, clean up area slash music studio. Yeah, yeah, yep, That'd be yeah, yeah. Awesome. Got to have you up to come play some music. Um, I'm ready. Actually, Let's there's go. A, there is a room that is right now is all the drum set, the drum set, and the guitars, and the bass, and the uh, the fiddle, and the. <laughs> I definitely want to do a, a collab with John. Definitely on one of his songs. I would love to do that. That would be awesome. Well, you got to come dig mean. Come come up and visit. Um, yeah. I think the, the last time I got down to Jersey, we went to our uh, my beach of dreams or the dream beach. <laughs> um, the dream beach is awesome. It is. It is. I hit that, that time I went with you, though, was it November or December? And it was so cold. Cold. Too cold. I, oh, I couldn't feel my fingers. Mm. Yeah, it was but definitely it was one still of those. a blast. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, anytime again, treasure hunting out is usually a blast, even in inclement weather. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, can you tell us what one of your favorite finds, and we'll, I'll say mudlarking, has been? Oh boy, my favorite mudlarking find. Um, favorite mudlarking. I do like a lot from the dream place. What mm-hmm. is it called? The dream place. <laughs> the, the, I don't know. The beach of dreams. The, the beach of dreams. <laughs> oh, my favorite. My favorite. I don't know my favorite mudlarking find. Mm-hmm. I can't think when I'm when I'm the pressure. It's the pressure. The pressure. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. How about well, metal detector. I've, I, can we all come? <laughs> yes, everyone can come visit in Maine. Yes. <laughs> um, just contact me separately. I'm not putting my address out there. <laughs> get get a road trip, everybody. Uh, extra bonus points if you play uh, an instrument or can sing. <laughs> I can't sing, but I can play an instrument, so I'm good. Yes, absolutely. I do um, mudlarking. I, I do. I love it. I love it. But I can't think of my absolute favorite mudlarking find. It, it's so hard because, it, like, you know it from, from dump digging as well. Between metal detecting, mm-hmm. dump digging, and mudlarking. Mudlarking and dump digging, you can go home with entire bagfuls of yes. crazy treasures. <laughs> For in half the time, yeah. yep. out digging to get 
uh, you know, two buttons and two coins, which I love. I do love. I love it all. I love the relics more, but coins are nice. Coins are nice, too, yeah. but I but don't you know. Could, Lately, you could... it's the bottle digging and the yeah. mud logging that is my favorite. And it, it might be that time of the year, too. Yeah, it's definitely hot. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot today. Uh, send that heat. Oh, I'd say send that heat that way, this way, but no, please don't. Usually <laughs> usually by 4th of July, and I'm sure you're in the same boat, by 4th of July, it's almost like 110. And it's like, oh, this is the first, you know, it's only been like, I don't know, I think the high this weekend was maybe 80. I'm sure it was warmer where you are. Yeah, it felt like 100 today. and so humid. Bad. A couple of weeks ago, I was out on the uh, river uh, doing some shark tooth hunting. That felt good to be in the water. Ooh. Yeah. Now that's, that's do you have, nice. are there fossils there too? So shark teeth and are there like any wood fossil or fossils of wood or any of that type of stuff? Yeah, there are fossils and there are cool uh, rocks and and things. I'm not real, you know, as knowledgeable in the fossil area, but I'm, I'm learning more and more as I go with that because I really like it too. Mm-hmm. But, uh, oh, a funny story about uh, metal detecting and checking your plugs is while metal detecting I found just a plain old quarter and in the plug was an Indian arrowhead. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Crazy. Yeah, and I was with uh, Fun With Dirt Tony up, he's uh, northwest New Jersey mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> we were shocked. Crazy. That's so neat. Now is that is that like um, your first or second that you've ever found? Um, it was my my third, actually. My other one was while metal detecting right at the bay by me. Mm-hmm. And I had just dug a toy soldier, a little sailor man. And as I was pulling it out of the sand... I looked over and there was an Indian point arrowhead right there. It's crazy. I I love it. I don't have that (laughs) luck. We keep trying to travel to to get to spots like that, but (laughs) Uh, North Carolina, we succeeded. Yeah, yeah, New Jersey. Well, on the water, it makes sense. Yeah, that was the first one I ever got there. That's really neat. In shock. That's really neat. I would love to go on a uh, like a fossil hunting trip. Yes. Somewhere. That would be great. Uh, was it gone digging? I'd love to go down and join, do, go oh, with them Matt. at some point. Yeah. Yep. That would be, yeah, we should do that. Mm. We could do that. He would love to have us there. <laughs> hey Matt, we're coming down. <laughs> He'd be like, "Come on down." He would be. He would love it. That would be fun. That would be. Um, no, have you Sometimes ever done I any? I forget those other people listening here. <laughs> oh yes, I know, right? <laughs> um, and more so, listen. So more so, listen on Tuesday. So hi, all you Tuesday listeners. Um, Hello, Tuesday listeners. Come to my show on YouTube. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, so you want to give a plug? So your YouTube. Yes, my YouTube is Jersey History Hunter. And uh, I usually post a video a week, although I haven't been doing as many as I used to for some reason. I uh, don't know, but... Just slowing down on videos, and but I do live stream every Tuesday night with my awesome co-host Bobby Underground Buddha, who I love like my brother, and uh, our show is basically just to have fun and forget about everything that's going on and support each other and promote each other and. 